Hello and welcome back to another video. Here we are going to solve another past year paper from October November 2020. It is pure mathematics one paper one and it is 9709 component is 1 1. So let's start with question number one without any delay. Here is question number one. Find the set of values of m for which the line with equation y is equal to mx minus 3 and the curve with equation y is equal to 2x square plus 5 do not meet. So if we can see they are going to form a quadratic equation and do not meet means they will not uh, there is no any solution. So it's like this is a curve and this is a line and they don't meet. So if they don't meet discriminant is going to be greater than uh, sorry less than 0. It means no real solution. So here what we are going to do we are going to equate them in order to find the point of intersection. So we have 2x square plus 5 is equal to mx minus 3. That is the condition for their intersection. So we will transform it into the quadratic equation in x and we can see it is going to be 2x square minus 5x sorry minus uh, mx this is 5 and this is minus 3 so it would become another side it is 8 is equal to 0 now it is quadratic in x so for the case when they don't meet they will not meet means there is no solution so that condition means b square that is discriminant d is going to be less than 0 or b square minus m whole square minus 4 times a that is 2 c that is 8 is less than 0 that is the case when the discriminant would be less than 0 and in that case there would be no real solution it means they are not going to meet and hence we will solve it it is going to be m square minus 4 to the 8 to 18 to 8 is 64 less than 0 or we can simplify it it's uh, 8 square so I will use the a square minus b square identity in one bracket I got m minus 8 in another bracket I got m plus sorry uh, yeah m plus 8 is less than 0 because it is m square minus 8 square so a square minus b square identity I have used now I'll draw the diagram which is quadratic in this is a quadratic graph for m square minus 64 so if the roots are minus 8 and 8 we require the region less than 0 means below this part below the x-axis so it is going to be the curve we want to consider and that's why the set of values of m would be between this so m is going to be in between means more than 8 and less than uh, more than minus 8 and less than 8 that is going to be the set of values of m i hope it is clear let's do the next question now here's the question number two the equation of a curve is such that its derivative dy over dx is equal to 1 over x minus 3 whole square plus x it is given that the curve passes through the point 2 comma 7 find the equation of curve so whenever we need to find the equation of curve when dy over dx is given we are going to do the integration so from here we can directly write since dy over dx is this so it means y is going to be the integration of the left hand uh, right hand side that is integration of 1 over x minus 3 whole square plus x we'll integrate it and then we'll get the uh, this is the equation of curve and if you'll we'll do the integration in as level we have the integration only of the type a bx plus c power n so we are going to convert it into this form and we can easily convert it because it's in the de denominator so in the numerator it would become x minus 3 whole to the power minus 2 dx plus i'm going to separate them plus x dx and the integration would be y is equal to this is x to the power x minus 3 to the power minus 2 plus 1 and divide by the same thing that is minus 1 and the differentiation of x minus 3 is 1 so no need to change it 
plus the different integration of x is x square divided by 2 plus constant of integration because whenever we do the integration we need to apply the constant of integration now it is given that this uh, it, since it is a equation of curve and the constant is which is unknown is see we can find with the help of 2 comma 7 so now at 2 comma 7 lies on this curve so whenever y is 7 x is going to be 2 so here it is minus it is minus 1 so i put minus here 2 minus 2 minus 3 power minus 1 plus 2 square that is 4 over 2 plus c so it is 2 and this is going to be minus 1 so minus 1 and in the denominator i can I'll write it so it is minus 1 upon minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2 plus c and hence if we solve we'll get this is going to be uh, 3 so says, uh, 7 minus 3 is 4 so c is 4 and hence the equation of curve would be y is equal to y is equal to minus 1 over i'll write this as minus 1 over x minus 3 to the power minus uh, to the power 1 plus x square divided by 2 plus 4 that's the equation of curve now let's discuss the question number 3 air is being air is being pumped into a balloon in the shape of a sphere so that so that its volume is increasing at a constant rate 50 centimeter cube per second find the rate at which the radius of balloon is increasing when the radius is 10 centimeter so this scenario they are talking about the volume and the sphere so volume of sphere we know it is given by v is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cube where r is the radius of the sphere now the question says the the given conditions the constants which are given is rate in volume of increase so dv over dt dv over dt rate of increase so dv over dt is given 50 centimeter cube per second and what we need to find we need to find the rate at which the radius of the balloon is increasing so we need to find dr over dt so we will find from here because we know that dr over dt and that too at r when r is equal to 10 dr over dt we can write it as dr over dv into dv over dt so all we need to find is dr over dv and and in order to find dr over dt we will find dv over dr so that we can take the reciprocal of it so dv over dr from here we'll find dv over dr derivative of v with respect to r is 4 by 3 pi that is a constant so only thing is r 3 r square these two got cancelled and it is 4 pi r square now we will substitute this value and we will get dr over dt the rate of uh, at which the radius of balloon is increasing is 1 over 4 pi r square into 50 because dv over dt is given already it is 50 so at at radius that is r at radius 10 this is increase is 50 over 4 pi and r square r square means uh, 10 square it is going to be 100 so 5 2 za and this value is 1 upon 4 to the 8 pi now they did not ask us to write the exact value so we can simplify with the help of calculator here that what is the value of 1 upon 8 pi and 1 1 over 8 pi this value is 0 0.03978 so it is going to be 0 0.03 nine seven eight and so on we will write till three significant figure and this would be zero point zero three nine eight 
centimeter per second that is the rate or at least the radius of balloon is increasing when the radius is 10 now here is the question number 4 the diagram in the, uh, the in the diagram the lower curve has equation y is equal to cos theta so this is y is equal to cos theta we can recognize from the uh, curve also the upper curve shows the result of applying a combination of transformation to y is equal to cos theta find in terms of cosine function the equation of the upper curve so we are going to find out how and what are the transformation has been applied so first thing we can see if this is the theta axis so the distance between highest and minimum point is 1 here 1 and here it is 1 and the curve the curve is it is attaining to maximum value in this case so it means we have the it is it's been stretched along x axis stretched along x axis and this being trans this has been um, done like this and then it is the it is attaining its minimum point as minus 2 pi and then going back to attain its maximum here like this so it's stretch along x-axis means we need to find where this point is going so minimum point earlier it was pi now it is at 2 pi so it means in terms of fx if we talk it means it is going to be f of x by 2 because in x by 2 the stretch along uh, x-axis would be the by the multiplication factor 1 by 1 by 2 that is 2 so first thing we have we can say that this fx the uh, and a resulting curve for fx this would be cos of here it is it was theta so it is going to be theta by 2 now this has been stretched along x axis and now we will see that it is going to be earlier it was um, here we can see the mid line and this is Two distance and this is two distance that is stretch along y axis as well and it is uh, stretched by the factor of 2 so it would be 2 times f of x so it means 2 times cos theta by 2 and if it is stretched here then it would have been gone, gone to, till 2 so 2 and then from minus pi to 2 pi will come here till minus 2 but it has been at the last it had been translated upward and translated by it was earlier at 2 now it is at 5 so it is translated vertically so vertical translation means f of x plus a so it is going to be plus 3 because it is a translation of 3 unit so i hope it is clear let's do the next part next question this is the question number 5 in the expansion of In the expansion of 2x square plus a over x power 6, the coefficients of x power 6 and x power 3 are equal. Find the value of one of the non-zero constant. So I will write in the case of a plus b raised to the power n. The general term is n c r a raised to the power n minus r and b raised to the power r. And this we call it as r plus oneth term. R plus oneth term. So if we want to get x to the power 6, first of all, we'll write in this form. Then it becomes 6cr, 6cr, a that is 2x square to the power 6 minus r, and a by x to the power is a by x to the power r. So for uh, this is r plus minus term. So we will simplify it further. 6cr, it become 2, I will separate it, 2 raised to the power 6 minus r and x square, so x to the power 2 into 6 minus r and from here the denominator, so it would be minus r again and here it is a raised to the power r. 
so for x to the power 6 for the coefficient of x power 6 we need to make 2 times 6 minus r minus r to be 6 or we can write it as 6 to the 12 minus 2r minus r is equal to 6 or 12 minus 6 is 6 is equal to 3r and we will get r is equal to 2. So for x is equal to 6 r is equal to 2 and for x is equal to 3 we will make this as 0 uh, this as 3 so it become 12 minus 3 r is equal to 3 means 3 r is equal to 9 and r is equal to 3 so their coefficients are same it means 6 c 2 2 raised to the power 6 minus 2 4 and 8 to the power 2 is equal to 6 c 3 2 raised to the power 6 minus 3 i am putting this value here 6 minus 3 is 3 and 8 raised to the power 3 so from here we can see these two got cancelled and we got only one a and hence a would be 6 c 2 6 c 2 is uh, 6 c 2 is 15 i guess it is 15 so 15 into 2 raised to the power 4 so 2 raised to the power 3 into 2 and denominator would be 6 c 3 and 6 c 3 is 20 so it is 20 into 2 raised to the power 3 so these two got cancelled 5 3 is a 15 5 4 is a 20 and then 3 2 is a 4 so a become a become 3 by 2 so that is the value of non-zero constant a so that's the first part i hope it is clear let's do the b part of it and here is the b part find the coefficient of x to the power 6 in the expansion of 1 minus x cube uh, times 2x square plus a by x whole power 6 from the free uh, from the previous part we have got the coefficient of x power 6 and x power 3 both for x power 6 we had 6c2 and it was 2 raised to the power 6 minus 2 4 and a to the power uh, it was let me copy it so it was a square and we know a value as 3 by 2 so I'll replace it and 6c2 is 15 into 2 raised to the power 4 is 16 into a square that is 3 by 2 whole square is 9 by 4 we can cancel this and it will become 4 so 15 4 is 60 and 69 is 540 so it becomes 540 uh, x to the power 6 and for the x cube coefficient we had 6 c 4 into 2 raised to the power uh, sorry 6 c 3 6 c 3 2 cube into a to the power 3 and which is going to 6 c 3 is 20 2 cube is 8 and a cube is 3 3 the 9 3 the 20 7 upon 2 cube that is 8 so these two got cancelled and we got again 540 so since we require the coefficient of x to power 6 and we are multiplying by 1 and x cube so in this expansion the terms which is which are required uh, which are required are only for 1 it is x to power 6 coefficient and for x cube uh, we require x to power 3 coefficient so that's why we will only use these two terms and we are going to get 540 x cube plus 540x to the power 6 plus and so on which you don't require of course then we will multiply 1 by this so we will get x 540x to the power 6 and when we will multiply x cubed coefficient with this so we will get minus 540x to the power 6 which will give 0 power 0 into x to the power 6 so the coefficient is coefficient is 0 coefficient of x x power 6 is 0 0 
so i hope it is clear so that's it for this video thank you so much